Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today I'll be taking a look at how you are feeling and how your person is feeling to book your private reading with me. All of that info is below along with all of the price listings. Private readings with me are an hour long. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content onto YouTube is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below. And as always, Sag, not each and every one of you watching me will feel like this is your story and that's completely fine. It's impossible for me to be able to connect with each and every Sag in this world. Every Monday on this channel will be the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Every Tuesday, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Every Wednesday, the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And every Thursday, the air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Let's get right into this. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Sagittarius for the recent past. Talk to me about Sag for the recent past. And then we're going to talk about how sad this person is feeling. Okay, so... Talk to me about Sagittarius for the recent past. What has Sagittarius been up to for the recent past? Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Sagittarius for the recent past. Tell me more about, okay. Tell me more about Sagittarius for the recent past. Talk to me about Sag for the recent past. All right. At the bottom of the deck here, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. I just feel like there's some sort of blocked communication or there's someone that wants to talk to you, Sagittarius. It could be another fire sign. Okay. Okay. I'm getting this energy of another fire sign that's around you that wants your attention. You're not sure if you want to do that. If you're not sure about it, then you probably shouldn't. Because if you wanted to do it, then you would act on it right away. Okay? I feel that you're blocking communication here. All right? There's this energy that wants to speak to you. But something is on hold right now. I feel like you're putting a situation on hold or you're deciding not to give more to something for a particular reason. I'm not sure why that would be. I just feel like right now you are in your season. So enjoy your time. Okay. It's all about you for the next month. Happy birthday. I love your season myself. You know, after a period of darkness with Scorpio energy and just a cycle of endings and new beginnings, we're able to have that passion, that fire back, that excitement that we're all looking for. Um, and I just feel like right now, you're really focused on you and that's cool, but there's somebody that feels left out. It could be a fire sign. Um, I'm just getting heavy fire energy, all right? So let's take another look. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles energy. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Three of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In the recent past, there may have been a desire to come together with an Earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. This is someone that's obviously far from you, at a distance from you, showing up very beautifully here, Mother Earth, very stable, someone who obviously means what they say, just very loyal, right? Um, and you watch this person from a distance. You're not always around whoever this individual is, but you think about them a lot and you think about coming back together with them. All right. 
but I don't feel like that has taken place. Okay, there's this desire on your behalf to get together with a queen of pentacles, but it doesn't take place. And a lot of that has to do with whether male or female. When you hear me say queen of pentacles doesn't mean that I'm talking about another, you know, female. We're just talking about the earth energy, all right? Someone who shows up as very stable, concrete, dependable, you know, that type of energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or not. You know what I'm saying? But it's just somebody that is reliable. Um, so you have wanted to come together with that energy and you've not been able to do so, but it's because of what you think about. So I feel like you are kind of holding yourself back from this energy for a particular reason. We are going to clarify that. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to the present moment. What's going on with Sagittarius for the present moment? Talk to me about Sag for the present moment. What is Sag thinking about? What do they want? All right. Talk to me about the present moment, Spirit, when it comes to Sagittarius. Talk to me about the present moment when it comes to Sag. Talk to me about the present moment for Sagittarius. The present moment, please. The present moment for Sag. The present moment for Sagittarius. Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. In the present moment, showing up here, the Hierophant, Taurus, the Nine of Cups, Pisces, the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So with the queen of pentacles showing up in the recent past position, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Taurus showing up in your present energy. There's a wish that you have, Sagittarius, to come together with that person that you desire to be around but you're holding yourself back. And I feel like somebody here, the more that you hold back, the more upset somebody is getting. Because it's like you're saying a lot of things, but there's not enough action. That's what I feel this Taurus is saying. It doesn't have to be a Taurus. But this is a card of commitment, and it does belong to Taurus. Taurus is the hierophant, the leader, the priest. We'll clarify. Please speak to me about the future when it comes to Sagittarius and the person that they are dealing with. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Sag and the person that they're dealing with. Talk to me about the future for Sagittarius. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Sagittarius, please. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Sag. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Sag. See what we got. Talk to me about the future for Sag. All right. So obviously in the future, you don't want a certain connection to end. But I feel like someone is threatening to leave or someone is threatening to walk away because of some sort of action that they feel like you're not taking. They feel like you're not taking action. 
on something. They're hearing you speak, but they're not seeing you move. That is the issue that someone has, but you don't want this connection to end, okay? This is Capricorn energy in the reverse, meaning that this is not over. In the future, Libra and Taurus energy showing up in your future. Venus, love and beauty for your future, okay? There's some sort of risk you're going to be taking here. I definitely, it's an energy of, you're, you're going to step it up. I, I see you, I feel you stepping it up, okay? You're going to do something you haven't done before or you know, you're going to work hard to rejuvenate the connection. Let's put it that way. Okay, because this is a very outgoing energy, Aries energy, Mars. So Mars is all about the push forward. So there's something that you're going to push forward here because someone is disappointed is what I get here. You know, and you want to talk to this person with the Page of Cups, you know, so you definitely want to communicate with this person, make them feel better. Um, and I see the message coming in, right? So now we're going to clarify. Let's see how your person is feeling because this is how you're feeling, Sag. So let's see how your person is feeling. So talk to me about the recent past when it comes to Sag and their person, but talk to me more about, okay, so you see, I'm getting this energy of your person being tight for some reason. Somebody's upset about something, Sag. Okay, um, so you could feel that someone is a little cold with you, they're blocking you, okay? Why is this person blocking Sagittarius? Why is this person blocking Sagittarius right now? Why is this person blocking Sagittarius? Why is this person blocking Sag? They feel like you're not working on something with them. There's something more that they want from you. For some of you, they're just really invested on the bag, right? Getting that money. The pentacles means money, right? And you see how he's building there. So your person's focused on building and they feel like if you're not focused or if you're not ready to build with them, then they're gonna block you because this is a blocking energy. Tell me more about the present moment when it comes to the person that Sag is dealing with. Tell me more about Sag's person. Tell me more about the person that Sag is dealing with, please. Tell me more about this person. They have a lot of feelings for you, of course, with the Knight of Cups, right? They love you. You probably already know that. Let's see what else we have with the Knight of Cups for the present moment for Sag's person. They're holding on to something that they're not telling you. I feel like someone is pissed off about something here, Sagittarius. They love you, but they're pissed off, okay? There's an energy of them not trusting you. They don't trust you. They feel like you're up to something else. This person has a grand intuition. If you're up to something else, they feel it. They think you're being deceptive. They think you're off entertaining other energies. And that drives them crazy here. They can't sleep. They have anxiety. You have trouble sleeping too. 
This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. All right, let's take a look at the future. We have messages coming in and going out here. We have a risk that you take toward this empress. This is Libra Taurus energy, you know. So it looks like you're going to see this person. They're coming to see you. You actually put effort to make something work with this person. I see you doing that. You don't want to lose this person with the world in reverse. So let's clarify that. Let's clarify how Sagittarius' this person is going to feel when Sag makes this move. Please speak to me in reference to Sag's person. Talk to me about Sag's person, please. Hmm. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles. Somebody feels left out here. I don't know who that is in the future. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for the future when it comes to Sagittarius. But let's focus on Sag's person. This person wants to avoid the tower moment. And I feel like if they feel that this is a disaster waiting to happen, then they're not going to continue. And so they would rather feel left out than to be a part of the chaos and the tower moment. Tell me more. Tell me more about Sag's person. Tell me more. It's like they're choosing to isolate for some reason and they're choosing to be quiet about something that they feel that you're up to. They feel you're up to something, Sagittarius. I don't know what that is. It's like somebody knows that there's something going on behind their back. You know what I mean? That's the vibe. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit, please. Yeah, this person doesn't know what to do. They're at a crossroads. They're blocking. I just feel this energy of blocking. You see how she just has the two swords and, you know, she's blindfolded. So she's not even trying to see. She's not letting you in and she doesn't want to see you either. You know, not literally, but you know what I mean. Metaphorically, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... So this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. So what is Sagittarius going to do? What is Sagittarius going to do? What is Sag going to do, please? You are the king of cups for this person, Sagittarius. But if that's how you really feel, if you love this person, you have to tell them or make sure that they know that. Obviously, you know, this is the biggest form of love when it comes to tarot, right? The king of cups. He sits on water, water being emotion, with his cup of love, the king. You know what I'm saying? So you're the king of cups for this person. Like that is your person. That's how you feel. But they don't know it. They don't feel it. 
Um, it's like someone's pushing for an ending here, but I don't think you're going to allow it with the star card. You know, and sometimes you go in and out of maybe it should end. But nah, I don't want to let this person go, you know, so there's this energy of, you know, sometimes you're like, fuck it. And then you're like, nah, not really. <laughs> right. Um, so that's pretty deep, you know, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching to clarify this situation. You can book your private reading with me. All of that info is below. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. And again, thank you so much for watching. Take care.